driveway yet. Yes, we're getting things started now. I'll just put the numbers and I have everything finalized on the check, okay? Okay. All right. Are oh, you saying you want it in cash, right? I, I'll take cash, yeah. I mean, if they got cash, let's go cash. Yes, yes, that's what we're starting with right now, okay? So just give me a couple minutes, all right? Okay, I can wait. Okay, so what are you going to do? You're going to give us the information on the front of the card, okay? The information on the front of the card. Correct, sir. All right. On what did you see on the front of the card? Give me all the information that's on the front of the card, okay? On the front of the card, there's a there's a check mark that says reload prepaid cards, make same day payments, and add money to PayPal account. Green dot money pack. And up in the corner, it's yellow, and it says, use PayPal and eBay and all that stuff. Yeah, I see. What do you see on the other side? On the back side of the card? No, the front side the other side. Uh, service fee, $4.95. That's right. And on the back of the card, you see what you see on the back of the card. The back of the card is the load cash to money pack and send it. It says to call a phone number to send it using that number below. Yeah. That's what you see on the back of the car, right? Yep. And what do you see on the bottom of the car? What do you see on the bottom of the car, on the back? Uh, on the bottom of the card, like on the right-hand side, the underneath the barcode? Uh, it says 01505 June 1 1. No, on the bottom of the back of the card, you're going to tell me what you see on the back of the bottom of the card. The, the back of the, the bottom of the back of the card. Yes. Yeah. There's some numbers. 01.505. June 11. Yeah, that's on the back of the card. Okay, and when you open the card, what do you see the front of the card? I'm sorry? When you see inside of the card, what the part you scratched off? Um, what do you see inside of it? Uh, on the part that I scratched off, that number? Is that what you're looking for, the part that I scratched, that number? I'm sorry? We just have the numbers that you gave to us, and what you put in the system is that the number is invalid. The number is invalid? Yes. Um, I don't know why. They're up the they're up which road? I, if they're up the road, then I'll just take the card out there and show it to them. They're not going to listen to me? What do you mean they're not going to listen to me? You guys are the one that called me, pal. Now you're wasting my time. All right? I, you're wasting my time, pal. Listen, I'm an American, okay? And I don't deal with this kind of stuff from you commie, you know, uh, uh, foreigners calling me up on my day off. And you're going to sit here and tell me that I'm wrong? Pardon? 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 <laughs> what do you mean, pardon? Do you speak English? What? You know what? You know what, Mr. Mr. Michael James? I want to talk to John Taylor again. At least he could understand what I had to say. For somebody who's worked with your company for 25 years, you're pretty pathetic. Hello, this is John Taylor, the supervisor. 
My, I got a problem that I can't get a straight answer out of this guy. Every time I turn around, he's like, oh, well, you got to do this and you got to do that. And now the number's invalid. I'm getting to start to feel like this is a scam and you guys are just trying to get 300 bucks out of me. All right, sir, listen, sir. What I'm saying to you right now, sir, this is no joke. This is no game. This is the one hundred that is in the system, all right? Well, the, well, what happened? The numbers that are saying involved in the system of the UPS delivering service, they just stop, okay? What do you mean they just stop? Tell them to come to my house. Yes. I'll show them the numbers, and then they'll see that everything's right. It's it's probably okay. your guy's problem who didn't write the numbers down right. He doesn't speak English okay. worth a damn. I don't know where the hell he's from, but I'll tell you one thing. He can't communicate very well, and for someone who's been in his position for 25 years, you would think that he'd be a little bit more professional and be able to get the job done. Okay. Maybe I need to talk to your supervisor, John. Do you have a supervisor there that I could speak to? Because I'm starting to get a little upset. I don't like to have a carrot dangled in front of my face of a pearl white Mercedes and then $2.5 million, and then all of a sudden, now I got people shouting at me, bullshit, I'm a veteran, okay? I didn't give you the wrong damn number, I can read the numbers, your guy wrote it down wrong.